What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you how to root your HTC Droid DNA after you take the OTA update to 2.04 or 2.06 in my case. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and connect your USB cable to the computer and you can go ahead and set your phone off to the side. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and head over to the site mobiletechvideos.com and this is where you are going to get S off on your HTC Droid DNA. This is a necessity if you want root. There is no other way, as of right now, that you can get root if you are running the latest OTA update from Verizon. Because Verizon are really awesome people that like to lock down their bootloader. So that's, yeah, you have to pay the $45. In my opinion, it is absolutely worth it. I will be providing a link below to my video of when I got my phone back. It looks the same as when I sent it in. It's still brand new, so it's definitely worth it. But after you go ahead and get S off on your phone, you're going to want to head on over to this thread. And this is a thread showing you what to do after you JTAG your phone. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go down to this link right here. Let that open up. And it's going to take you to this page. And we're going to go ahead and grab this RU file. And it's the 1.15. So the reason we want this is because this is what's going to allow us to actually unlock our bootloader. So just go ahead and click the download link right there and then you can exit out of that. And once you go back to this, this starter here, it shows you that you're going to want to flash that RU. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this file and we're going to want to rename this RU file. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. We're going to go ahead and right click, rename, and we're just going to go ahead and delete the hboot. So delete everything except for the pl and then the img.zip stuff. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up a command window. So my version of Windows is different I guess, but I have to hold shift on the actual folder itself and open a command window. Yours may be a little bit different, but I'm going to go ahead and adb devices. Just go ahead and make sure your device is attached. Alright, so after that, we're just going to go ahead and ADB reboot into the bootloader. So ADB reboot. Bootloader. And it's going to reboot our device into the bootloader. So you see right there, we are in Fastboot USB. Go ahead and set the device off to the side. And Fastboot. devices just to make sure we still have our device connected again if you don't have the drivers installed correctly then nothing will show up right there and fast boot OEM reboot are you mm -hmm. and we're gonna go ahead and reboot that and basically what this is gonna do is put your mm -hmm. device like that and then we're going to go ahead and flash the actual zip. So we're going to do fast boot. Sorry, my kitten is in the way. It is kind of annoying, but PL. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit tab because it works for me. And hit enter. And this is going to flash the bootloader from the 1.15 software version. So basically you're going to see a little green bar that's going across. And we're going to go ahead and wait for this to finish. Alright, and just a little heads up to you guys, my little my progress bar got about 75% full and then it just got stuck. So I thought it was just going to flash so I went ahead and use the bathroom and it still didn't finish so I thought that it's because I didn't have the right system installed and I checked the thread again and it was because I didn't have the right system. So if we move this out of the way and we go back to the XDA thread, we'll go down and it says we need to argue you back to the 1.15 system because we are running that bootloader so we need the actual you guessed it RU so if you see right there under HBoot it is 1.33 that is the one that we want and I'm gonna go ahead and download this and I'll be right back okay so the download is finally finished it only took about eight minutes because AT&T sucks but if you don't have Chrome and the download doesn't show up you can always go to where you downloaded it which I downloaded it in my Droid DNA folder to just to go ahead and keep things in order so I have everything in here. So we're just going to double click on it. All right, and then you're going to get this little thing that pops up and just going to hit yes. I'm pretty sure there's a virus in here. If there is, <laughs> I'll be the first person to know, I guess. All right, so this is what it's going to look like when it opens up. It's going to go ahead and prepare for the installation. 
So I'll just go ahead and wait for this to finish. Shouldn't take too long. All right, and that didn't take too long. Once it loaded up, you're just gonna get to this right here where it shows. Can I just select the HTC first? But go ahead and click I understand. Then we're gonna go ahead and click next. Oh, and by the way, our phone is still in the bootloader, by the way. So just something to remember. Now we're gonna go ahead, since I know it's probably gonna ask for it, we're gonna go ahead and hit the power button on fast boot. Mm -hmm. And it should be in fast boot USB. So you go ahead and put that to the side. Now actually here we're gonna have to go ahead and click I have completed go ahead and hit next and it's gonna verify the information on our phone so hopefully this passes it says current information we're gonna go ahead and hit update All right, we're just gonna go ahead and verify that we want to do this go ahead and hit next because of course we want to do this right and then of course we can't use our phone but I mean we can't use our phone right now anyways because it won't turn on but we're gonna go ahead and hit next and this is gonna check it's going to pass and it's going to wind up installing. I guess you can't move it. But I will be back once this is done. I just wanted to point out to you guys that it took about 10 minutes for me to get it to actually start with the progress bar. So if you think that it's not going to work, just give it about 10 to 15 minutes. Because I was sitting here and I was scared. I thought it actually, it actually wasn't going to work. But it took about 10 minutes where it kept on sending and it finally started to where it started updating the bootloader, the radio, and everything like that. So give it some time. It will work. I was kind of concerned too. I know you guys are going to be, so that's why I figured I'd let you guys know. But I'll be back once this is actually at 100%. Alright guys, and it says that it has completed and then it's rebooting the phone. So as you see right here get that awesome droid DNA boot animation alright and the phone is booting up right now it looks like it's let's give it a second got the HTC logo I just want to go to the software information okay so I know you guys didn't really want to see me going through the setup process so just kind of skip that for you guys. Go ahead and go to settings. Scroll all the way down to about phone. We're going to go to software information. Close. Go away. And right there, we're on software 1.15. Bring it a little bit closer for you guys. It's now worked. We are going to go ahead and get the super CID so that we can actually unlock the bootloader. So let's go ahead and get started. No. So we're going to go on and head on over to the thread. Going to close that out. Go ahead and hit finish. And all these annoying pop-ups. I don't know why they keep showing. Go ahead and exit out of the RU file. And we're going to scroll down to where it says you're going to want to use beanups. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. Scroll down to where it says instructions because that's probably the most important part and then what you need so of course we need the phone because if you didn't have the phone then you probably wouldn't be doing this any attached APK so I'm gonna go ahead and download this and I'm gonna go ahead and save it in the droid DNA folder go ahead and hit save that doesn't take too long at all so what we're gonna do is download the APK I already did that and then we're gonna run it so that you don't have to actually log into the market and everything like that we're gonna go ahead and head back into settings and we're gonna go ahead and go to developer options hit OK turn them on select USB debugging mm -hmm. go back and we're gonna go up to security go to unknown sources click OK and because I don't have the file explorer I'm just gonna ADB install this application so go ahead and put that off to the side go away go away I don't know why these keep popping up but we're just gonna bring keeps popping open in a different window we're gonna ADB install CID 2 and we're just going to go ahead and hit enter and it's pushing and success so it's just an easier way of doing things so you don't actually have to do that and now you see we have HTC DNA super CID and app right there so I'm going to take that off so it says download it and run it so we're just going to go ahead and run it because that's what it's telling us to do you shouldn't have super CID. Please reboot to bootloader and execute fastboot OEM read CID. If it still shows up, CW you will need to reboot and try this app again. So I'm assuming this that's just what it tells us to reboot into the bootloader and confirm it. So I mean that's pretty much 
self-explanatory. Go ahead and put the phone down. ADB reboot. Reboot loader. It's just easier that way. And go ahead and then it says fast boot. Mm -hmm. Gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it, but I'm not gonna hit enter. And if we go over here, our CID is a lot of twos, and it was ones, so I'm assuming it did read it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter on this anyways. And it gives us the same thing. So yeah, we do have super CID, so that was successful. And now we can proceed to HTC dev. So I'm gonna exit out of that. And now we are going to go back to this. So now we're gonna head on over to HTC dev. So already have this link open. You're gonna to wanna to sign in and then you're gonna to go to unlock bootloader. Now on the side over here, you're gonna to go to select your device, scroll all the way to the bottom and choose all other supported models. Begin unlocking. Yes, I wish to continue because getting S off, your warranty is already voided unless the person at Verizon is dumb enough to actually not check. Our phone is in bootloader because we just checked the CID. We have the ADB and Fastboot because we have the Android SDK. If you don't have the Android SDK, then you probably didn't make it this far. But So we're going to go ahead and do Fastboot OEM get identifier token. Bring this back over here for you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and paste. Hit enter. And what you are going to want to do is right click, mark, and choose from this arrow all the way down to this arrow and then right click drag that off the screen we're gonna scroll all the way down it just shows you what I've already told you and then we're just gonna paste that right there and then we're gonna submit and see if it works unlocking bootloader instructions were sent to my email so let me go ahead and check that okay so if everything went correctly you will get this message from HTC go ahead and download this unlock code and put it in your HTC folder so I'm going to click download, make, make sure it's in that folder where we've been you know, putting everything else. Go ahead and hit save. And we're going to follow these instructions right here to continue the unlocking process. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this out. So step 11, we're going to have to go ahead and flash that. So I'm going to go down to fastboot flash unlock bin code stuff. I've been doing this on my HTC one. It's kind of fun, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and paste that fastboot flash unlock token. Go ahead and hit enter. And if everything went correctly after 30 minutes of stuff, you should get this unlocked bootloader. If you don't get this, I don't know what went wrong. There could have been a possibility of things after all those steps, so I'm not even going to attempt to ask that. But we're going to use volume up, and then once it's on yes, let's go ahead and hit power. So it's going to reboot the phone into... The actual OS itself so what we're gonna want to do is go ahead and actually download your recovery I will provide a link to team win site so that you guys don't have to actually google it like I did and you're gonna want to go to get torque for your device and this will pop up just gonna type in DNA and torque for HTC droid DNA has popped up now we can't just download goo manager our droid DNA is getting a little happy over there. Now we can't just download Goo Manager because, well, we don't have root to actually use Goo Manager. So we're gonna actually have to download the recovery IMG or image. So this is not the type of guide for you if you are scared of using a command prompt. If you don't know how to use a command prompt, please don't follow this guide because you're gonna be asking a lot of questions and you, you really don't need root if you don't understand stuff like this. One benefit, we're going to say this in your DNA folder, by the way. One benefit of this is that with S off, you don't have to actually fast boot flash the boot images. So that's kind of nice. Our device is going to be completely wiped. We can't just ADB reboot into the bootloader, but I'm going to go ahead and bring this over. And what we can do is actually go ahead and long press on the power button. And it says to restart your phone, please press and hold the power button. And once mm -hmm. it does that, just press and hold volume down. And we get into the bootloader. That's the easiest way. So now we're going to choose fast boot. 
So now our device should say fastboot USB. Go ahead and put it down. So we're gonna go back to our command prompt and we're just gonna go ahead and flash the recovery. So fastboot, flash, recovery. And if you look down there, well, if you look at the downloaded file name, it'll be open recovery. If you type in open and hit tab, it'll fill it out for you so you don't actually have to type everything. Go ahead and hit enter. And if you typed it incorrectly, it will send the recovery. Fastboot, reboot, recovery. I think I typed that wrong, sorry. Recovery, hit enter. All right, so <laughs> never mind. That was just a complete fail. Go ahead and zoom back out for you guys. And just do this the manual way, I guess. We're going to go ahead and go down to bootloader. We're going to go down to recovery, press power. And if we did this right, well, we have that. It says entering recovery. And if we have twerp recovery, yeah, like a boss. And now the new feature with twerp 2.5, stop installing drivers. The new feature with twerp 2.5 is that if we reboot to the system, it will say your device does not appear to be rooted. So install super SU now, and we're just gonna go ahead and hit yes. And it's as simple as that. It will install a Super SU installer. I don't know why it doesn't just install the actual APK itself and make more sense. But we're going to go ahead and let this boot up. Alright, so I was going to fast forward through that for you guys, but I didn't want to make you sit through it again for like the third time that we've rebooted our phone. So if you go ahead and pull down your notification shade, it says tab to install Super SU. And we are not going to connect to that, but we are going to go ahead and install. We're going to use Twerp. Okay, and it says that the download was complete, so we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And it's going to reboot us into Twerp to install it. So we are entering recovery again. And it's installing. Wow, that text is small. So we have successfully downgraded our system. We have Super CID the bootloader. We have unlocked the bootloader. We have flashed a custom recovery. Go ahead and unlock that. And we have installed Super SU. So basically, if we go into our app drawer, go over to Super SU. And Super SU has just force closed on us. So, go ahead and reopen it again. And that's, that's basically it. We have successfully fully rooted our HTC Droid DNA. I would download a root checker app for you guys, but I'm not signed into the Play Store, and there's no, I mean, like, there's no point in my opinion. I mean, after going through all that, you know the super users are gonna work anyway. So, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. After all that, it would really help me out a lot. And if you guys want to see any more videos on the Droid DNA, leave a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, if my phone makes it.